the working fluid in a steady flow process flows at a rate of 220 kg per minute the fluid rejects 100 kJ per second of heat passing through the system the conditions of the fluid at the inlet and outlet are given as velocity 320 meters per second pressure p1 is 6 bar and internal energy u1 is 2000 kJ per kg specific volume 0.36 meter cube per kg and velocity 140 meters per second this is for outlet and pressure p2 1.2 bar u2 is 1400 kJ per kg specific volume 1.3 meter cube per kg now this is suffix 1 and 2 indicates the condition at the inlet and outlet determine the power capacity of the system in megawatt the change in potential energy is neglected so this question has asked in the january 2008 17 for 8 mark same question has uh, repeated in the june 2009 also see here mass flow rate he has given uh, 220 kg per minute so we have to convert it in uh, yes i that is uh, kg per second so 220 divided by 60 we have done here 3.6 is kg per second so heat is uh, rejected here so minus 100 kJ per second or kilowatt it is heat is rejected here it is minus so potential energy is neglected z1 is equals to z2 will consider here that is nothing but zero only so uh, as per steady flow process m1 dot will be equal to m2 dot will be equals to m only so let me write the equation steady flow energy equation first q is equals to m dot h2 minus h1 plus 1 upon 2 v2 square minus v1 square plus this g into z2 minus z1 plus w so this we will neglect here already he has told in the problem potential energy is neglected so q is equals to m dot so h equation we are having h but this enthalpy value he has not given so this enthalpy i can write in terms of internal energy and uh, pressure and volume term so h2 is nothing but u2 plus p2 v2 because we are not having enthalpy value so i have convert this enthalpy in this form u2 plus p2 v2 minus h1 is nothing but u1 plus p1 v1 plus this equation as it is so this will be anyhow zero plus w dot so q is minus 100 minus 100 we have substituted mass flow rate is 3.667 so u2 already he has given these values 1400 plus pressure he has given in bar we are converting it in kilo newton per meter square or kilo pascal so specific volume he has given minus u1 value this also he has given 6 bar so converted it in kilo pascal into specific volume he has given plus 1 upon 2 v2 also he has given velocity v1 also he has given plus 9.81 this term is zero so anyhow this will be zero only plus w dot so he has asked us to calculate uh, the work done per unit time only minus 100 so if we will solve this entire equation so this will be minus 2572.03 plus w dot so therefore w dot will be equals to 2472 kilowatt or 2.472 megawatt next uh, problem we will see here Twenty five kilojoules. Uh, the fluid properties at the entry are five bar, fifty meters per second, and point seven eight meter cube per kg. And the corresponding properties at the exit are one bar, hundred meters per second, point nine seven meter cube per kg. Full point. The inlet is five meter above the exit, and the internal energy at the entry is greater than that of the exit by hundred and nineteen kilojoules. find the output work you can see here the inlet is 5 meter above the exit that means uh, 5 uh, z1 is uh, 5 meter greater than the z2 similarly internal energy at the entry is greater than that of the exit that is u1 will be equals to u2 plus 119 So Z1 will be also equals to Z2 plus 5. The meaning is that only here. You can see here. You can see here. Q is heat is flowing out of the device. That means it will be minus only minus 25 kilojoules. Pressure P1 is given in bar. We have converted it in kilopascal. 
velocity v1 v1 given 50 meters per second specific volume he has given where z1 is equals to 5 meter it is uh, above the exit level when z2 is zero then easily i can write z1 is equals to 5 meter similarly internal energy is greater than 119 kilojoules than the exit so u1 is equals to u2 plus 119 kilojoules you can write here similarly these all values he has given in the problem so therefore q dot will be equals to m dot so u2 plus p2 v2 plus u1 plus p v1 v1 which is the cd flow energy equation so let us substitute all the values here in this equation minus 25 for a kg of fluid m he has given 1 so u2 we have uh, u2 minus u1 it is the u2 minus u1 is nothing but minus 119 from this equation i have substituted here p2 he has given v2 minus p1 v1 i have substituted here plus 1 upon 2 v2 and v1 also he has given into 10 to the power minus 3 we have done here plus g is 9.81 into z2 is 0 minus z1 we have converted it in uh, into 10 to the power minus 3 plus w dot here so minus 25 if we we'll simplify this equation uh, we are going to get minus 408.3 plus w dot so minus 25 minus 408.3 plus w dot therefore w dot will be equal to 383.3 joules so this is the work done here